Hi, it's Elisa, resident foodie and hoarder. I'd kind of let part two of my painter organization get away from me, so you guys are about to see it right now. Okay. Y'all, this is the before of my pantry. And today is fr it, Friday. It's Friday night. And so I'm going to see if I can get this done in a timely fashion. Here's my helper. She's she Raina agreed to help me do all this, right? Right. Okay, so this is kind of partway through my process here. You know, I originally had this broken shelf right here, and so I switched those. And this one, because, okay, to start with, this was already broken. Like, that was broken when I first put it up when we moved here. And then this broke loose after so much weight was on it so that with that loose it makes it go from level to sideways like that which kind of works out for that corner because it makes it turn this way but now everything that I put in there is going to roll to this side so I don't know I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna put in there I mean like if I put box items like that it's really not gonna matter so I don't know we'll see I may not even leave that there. I just am not totally sure because corners are, you know, they're difficult to decide what to do with. Okay, showing my progress. Still working on it. I ended up taking out that little set of drawers right there. You know, I just, I was hardly ever using them. You know, after I end up getting stuff in the floor, I couldn't even get to that, so... You know, it's just dumb to have that there, and I decided to take it out. And here's my progress right here with the cereal and that other stuff. And I still have all of the stuff up top to do and all of this shelf and then what's on the ground of course man it looks like i'm moving backwards <laughs> actually alphabetizing and categorizing some of the food but to do that i'm yeah gotta make a mess to fix a mess i guess <laughs> My actual pantry is just a little closet that is off the side of our office. So I walk through our office to get to our pantry. And starting at the top, vegetables, and then go into fruits. Have some dairy. The milk I have is way in the very back, like I can't even get to it because I have so much milk in our fridge and in our freezer. And then boxes of um, shelf stable milk also so and so on this wall right here I have put two shoe organizers um, on the wall I just attached them to the wall with those little Hercules hooks and these one two three really the top three are the ones that I have things that I would really rather my daughter Raina not get to so I mean, like, obviously I don't care about this stuff, but that's just the only 
they only fit in the top. So like these things, I don't want her, she will eat them all. She will eat them all. So I have to keep them up high as well as the little, um, Thrive Life snack snackies. She'll take off with those and I won't see them again. So I just have various things crammed in here. Um, I did try to organize it a little more than it was. It wasn't organized at all. And so I just realized because it's such close quarters in here, I am going to have to squat to get the rest of it. So anyway, I think that these little shoe organizers should be just everywhere you can put one, really. <laughs> and then I have some juice bottles here just lined up along the floor. And this um, rack here that goes around, that was here when we got here. So it was already set up. I did put, we did put this shelf in here. And because I have so much weight on this shelf, um, my husband put these little, I'm so sorry the name escapes me, but these little things to keep the shelves from falling. And each one has three. I don't know if we just didn't have enough at the time because we did this like soon as we moved here because we knew I was gonna have a lot of weight on it. Um, but like there's one on all on three corners and then the back one doesn't have one and like they, the back one is always falling, <laughs> but anyway, not falling bad, but just like kind of falling a little bit. Okay. So the top shelf here, I begin with vegetables and I have them in alphabetical order cause I do everything in alphabetical order. Um, I left room to grow back here because I am going to be getting a lot more canned food from my mom and dad's house. So anyway, I begin with my vegetables. And so I continue here with vegetables and then I go to tomatoes after that and start up on fruit. These are some dehydrated blueberries. Here I just have, this is kind of random here guys, I started kind of running out of room in different places to put things, and so this is just kind of an accumulation of sauces here. I have a lot of peanut butter, and so most of it is right there. There's a few extra. I don't remember what I put in this bottom thing. Oh, there's some olive oil. I was kind of trying to figure out what to put in that very bottom one because just nothing really fits in these, and I just didn't have anything that could go in there. Here is kind of a mishmash of stuff too. Uh, it's sort of some baking stuff and then like the salt just randomly got through up there. I don't know, uh, again, I kind of ran out of room. This entire thing here is oatmeal baby food. And then this, some soups, different kinds of little soups. And then this is some um, freeze dried potato soup that I had made. These are all dry beans. That one is water. That one is low so that Raina can access it. I need more rice. As far as like just an extra to go grab, that's the only rice that I have. We have tons of cereal. Um, down here I keep kind of papery goods. And then right over here, mostly pasta type stuff. And then just some other things. Don't really have categories. This is like a big thing of coconut flour. I just couldn't find another place to put it. And then usually put chips up top there. Okay, so this bag right here is, I don't know if you can see in there, it's baby food. So that's baby food that like needs used up because it's way expired, but we still use it. Um, I add it to things. Uh, make like flavored pancakes with it and different things. This is kind of some overflow stuff from, hmm, I don't know. I don't really know where it belongs. I found it in another closet and decided to bring it in here earlier. And then I also have some other overflow meat, just straight up meat up there that technically belongs in the kitchen, but I didn't find it until the kitchen cabinet was already full. These two boxes right here, one, two, have milk in them, shelf-stable milk. This little thing is kind of hard to get to, 
but I'll tell you what's in it. These one, two, three, four, the bottom four are canning supplies, just like rings and lids and stuff. This is all like bakery. Um, these two here are like all cake mixes. That one has some of those, they're like little toddler like Cheetos kind of, except not so cheesy at all. In fact, those are veggie ones. But, um, and then those, I have like four of these things, is what those are, arrowroot cookies. The little ones really, the babies really like these. And those are, they're rice crisps. Here I have like the cheap goldfish, basically. And then way up here, Pop-Tarts, Big Newton bars, and extra graham crackers. Oh, here I just, here I just have crammed in some extra little snack bags. Okay, y'all. That's it. That is my pantry. I come in here to get things, like there are things that I use often out of here. In fact, all of my freeze-dried or dehydrated stuff, if there's a little star on it, it means it's currently open. And so, like, I do utilize stuff out of it. If it doesn't have a star, it means it's still sealed. Okay, so some of you have seen um, how deep my pantry was before I started cleaning it out. So, see this big pile here? I mean, like, it looks like it's large enough to go on a pallet. Okay, guys, this pile, alrighty, I'm not talking about those little items on the floor. So, like, right here, all of this right here. Okay, so that pile is all new baby food. Like, you know, baby food that we would use. Actually, Raina did not, aside from, like, the first couple that she just tried when she was a little baby, like, she didn't start eating baby food until she was... Like, until she just started, like, eating it because she liked the taste of it. So she was, like, almost two and started asking for it, you know? So, um, and, like, I was totally against those little baby food pouches for the longest time. But you know what? It is the only thing I can give the twins that, in the car, that, like, assures me they're not going to choke while we're driving. Because those pouches are so expensive, I got these the other day, which I am totally excited to use. Um, and I am going to fill them with baby food so that I don't have to keep buying those pouches. And here is all the baby food that I'm going to use. So anyway, all of this that's in this pile is like the expiration date or best by date is like a long ways away. So all of these, that's why they're not in that bag in the pantry. You're probably wondering after cleaning all that out, what all I'm throwing away this, I actually have a really small throwing away pile considering what, um, all was in there. And really all of it mostly, like this is canned milk and you know, some people might keep that, but you know, the last time I used it and this ch cream of chicken soup, the last time I used those was almost a year ago and like I kind of felt like they were questionable then. <laughs> and so I just, I just really rather get rid of them. I'm just tired of I just know I won't use them so um same thing here I just you know these moved here with us and I don't know I, I mean I'm sure they're probably fine but like I haven't used them in such a long time I just can't guarantee the way that they were kept like I just I don't know I don't know so much about them and it's just easier for me to just toss them so that is my toss pile with the exception of this can opener this actually I was going to show you was a find as I went through to inventory my pantry and those of you who might have watched my silverware organization video I keep several can openers because I'm constantly fighting can openers but since I did that video we have got down to one. So I was so happy when I found this. So now we have two can openers again. So I'll put it right there. It looks like the other one's in the dishwasher. And this pile right there, that formula going all the way down to here, that tower of stuff is all stuff that I am paying forward or donating. And it's all baby food, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's all baby food, um, except for these little crushed singles to go. I didn't care for those. And uh, these are, uh oh, those are brand new formulas. Well, thank you to, for those of you who stayed to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you can get notified every time I make a new video. Those are just wrappers. It's nothing to eat. Yeah, it's just, just a package. It's just a package. <laughs> what is it? Do that again. What is that? Bye-bye. <laughs>